Hey, Tony here at the Avid booth at Winter Nam 2011. I'm here with Mishka. Mishka, how you doing? Mishka is a um, producer, songwriter, engineer, Grammy nominated, and I want to congratulate you for your Grammy nomination. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, the nomination is for Elda Barge, a song called Second Chance. Um, it's kind of a the song kind of speaks to his whole life. Uh, you know, um, El, El will tell you himself. He's, you know, he was a heroin addict for years um, and went to jail, came out, and was still the exact same person. He just wasn't on drugs. He's just still the most ta one of the most talented vocalists, definitely one of the best players I've ever worked with in my life. And he came to me and we wrote a song the first day and he played this beautiful melody at the end. And that became the song that I wrote the next day. It was called Second Chance. And it became kind of the mantra for his whole record, which is, you know, a person who has paid his due to society and he, he just wants a second chance in life. Well, that, that's great. That's a great success story for, for both him and you. So congratulations. Um, so I also wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, your experience with Pro Tools HD Native and the HD series interfaces. Because I understand you've spent some time with it and got around to kick it around. And you, you own a Pro Tools HD TDM system, HD3. Yeah, and um, so yeah, tell, tell me what, what you think. How, how would you compare the two? You know, what, are you, um, what are your thoughts on them? Well, uh, I have an HD3 at home. I love it. I've been rocking it for years. But I'm going to tell you, I went up to... Went up to San Francisco with the idea in my mind that what I was going to be working with was going to be inferior to what I have, and I got the rudest awakening. I took the biggest session that I had in my stable at that time, which was a song that Ron Fair had originally produced on a female artist. He asked me to reproduce it on a, on a male artist. So we're talking in excess of 80 tracks of vocals, um, probably another... 60 tracks of uh, music. I had all of that running on it. On top of that, I thought, well, okay, it plays fine. Let me record. So I was using an Omni for the interface. I brought my own mic. I put the killer part is this on the input bus just to see how far I could kill it. I put auto tune, L3 by waves. Um, and Renaissance compressor, all on the input bus. So to me, there should have been a great amount of latency. It was, it was so unnoticeable that when everybody came down, because all the engineers came came by and I told them what I did, and they, they said, "That's freaking amazing." And I told them, I said, "Watch," and I sang through it, and they they heard it, and they they were even surprised. You know what I mean? It's this is a product that is really kind of mind blowing. You know, I I think. Anybody who is thinking about getting um, an HD system, who you know needs maybe needs a second system that they're going to have on the other room, get a freaking native system because it's there's something that is so snappy about the way that it it interacts the software. When you press play on that thing, it's like so blisteringly quick. It's a whole different experience. Amazing. So yeah, it's something that you know it's been. Um I think the, the the advantage is clearly to native because it's PCI, and because there's there's no dedicated processing on it, and the, it's quite a bit more accessible than our traditional our Pro Tools HD one two three systems. Um, you get such fast zippy uh, performance, like you're describing, because of the PCI card, because of the close integration of the driver and the hardware. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's really compelling for those folks using USB and FireWire devices, especially too. But um, I'm curious, how? What about the sound? <coughs> excuse me, the sound quality of HD Omni? It's the exact same sound quality I'm used to. There's no, it, there is no difference. It's if anything, it's slightly better. You know, that's that's the only difference. It's like it's, it could be just a little bit better because the bottom end is a little bit better. For, I found on the newer interfaces. So. Cool. Well. Awesome. This is really uh, it's great feedback. Great to hear about, uh, from somebody who's te field tested it and kicked it around. Very cool. I want to congratulate you again for the Grammy nomination. Best of luck with it. And uh, thanks for stopping by and talking with us. Um, again, everybody, this is Mishka. And uh, if you have any questions about anything we've talked about, uh, you can tweet us at pound ask Abbott.
and we'll answer your questions up there. So we'll see you online.